Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video we will consider in direct computations of DFT of a sequence how many complex multiplications, complex additions, real multiplications, real additions and trigonometric function evaluations are required. In the previous two lectures we already have proved uh, there are uh, how many complex multiplications? We got n square number of complex multiplications and we proved that there are n square minus n number of complex additions and we also proved that there are uh, how many real multiplications? We got it to be as 4 n square real multiplications and how many real additions? We proved this as we got finally 4 n square minus 2n real additions. Is that okay? So in these, these are the tasks we considered in the previous two lectures. In this video uh, what we do is we'll consider uh, the number of uh, trigonometric function evaluations. Is that okay? So one may wonder where do we get this trigonometric function with respect to DFT? Are you, are you feeling in that way? Yes. But if I consider the twiddle factor wn to the power kn what is this twiddle factor which is equal to wn is nothing but e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by n getting multiplied with k into n and what is and we also know that e to the power minus j theta which can be expressed as cos theta minus j sin theta so how do i write this i can write this using the euler's rule similarly i can write wn to the power kn as how do i write this it is cosine plus minus j sin term it is cos theta what is theta in place of theta i have 2 pi kn divided by capital n so let me write that term first so in place of theta i have 2 pi kn divided by capital n this is what i have minus uh, j so that is important minus j sin theta in place of theta again i have 2 pi k n divided by capital n so this is the expression for w n to the power k n what is the real part so here that i will write here w r n to the power k n the real part of w n to the power k n i'll indicate it as w r n to the power k n r indicates the real part what is the real part the real part is cosine of 2 pi k n divided by capital n and similarly what is the imaginary part imaginary part i would indicate it as w i n to the power k n i indicates it's the real part it's the imaginary part so what is that equal to? It is the negative of sine 2 pi k n divided by capital N. So now you may see that cos and sine are nothing but trigonometric functions. So what ultimately I can prove is 1 wn to the power k n, one term, one term wn to the power k n will have two trigonometric functions two trigonometric trigonometric functions so are you getting this point so i said one w n to the power k n term will have two trigonometric functions trigonometric functions are nothing but it's the evaluation of sine and cosine term so this is the first term and this is the second term hence i said there are two trigonometric functions it is only for one term of w n to the power k n and in that we know that small n varies 0 to n minus 1 therefore there are n values n different values and k what about k k can also vary from 0 to n minus 1 hence there are n different value of k is that okay so ultimately ultimately uh, total number of trigonometric functions evaluated are so i can write ultimately total number of total number of trigonometric functions total number of trigonometric functions 
total number of trigonometric functions evaluated total number of trigonometric functions evaluated are how many are there one term has two trigonometric functions and likewise i have n different values of small n and i also have n different values of k so ultimately i am going to get 2 into n into n turns out to be 2n square so ultimately i am going to have 2n square number of trigonometric functions evaluated is that okay so in this uh, example i have uh, if I, I have explained everything step by step uh, like how many trigonometric functions are going to be evaluated in that computation of dft hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i would definitely address those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on digital signal processing thank you everyone for watching